talked about Pawan Kalyan. And I, I just want to ask generally about Coalition Dharma. Now, he has been a little critical of one of your ministers and some of the situation there. So as a senior politician, and you don't have to speak specific, but I, I just wanted to know, what are the basic principles of coalition dharma that you keep even one part, one minister or one other ally may be a little unhappy? How do you make up with them? How do you ensure everyone goes along? What is the coalition dharma? No, in a, always in a family. Even father and son, wife and husband, even among family members, you will have some differences. Everybody is not uniform. But how to bring consensus is very important. How to respect each other is important. Same principle in politics. In a coalition government, we have to talk to each other. There may be some difference of opinion, but ultimately how to obtain consensus is very important. Sometimes some people will have respond differently with some information. But if we talk, then it will be solved. That is what we are doing. I am confident as long as we are having public interest in mind, we will be together, we will work together. Small problems here and then will come. All these problems will be sorted out. Even what you said. Pavan Kalyan. Pavan Kalyan. Immediately there is a small issue even social media. In social media nowadays, I'm very happy 100 years Hindustan Times, century celebrations were conducting. Originally, even print media was not available for public, only Doordarshan. After that, print media. After that, electronic media. Now, social media has come. Everybody is a editor, everybody is a correspondent. You can put any views on anybody. Now there is a competition. But now more dangerous trend is character assassination in social media. That is much more worst. Even women, character assassination is going on. That is where all of us are feeling. How to control this type of character assassination? Otherwise, we'll have a big setback. Yeah, you're of course referring to the crackdown that you had recently on various no, activists. No, all various women. Not only that. Even that party should not have any balance. They have done character assassination of Their own party people. president, own mother and sisters. So what is... We may differ people. That is a different issue. We may differ politically. Politically. We may have some differences, family also. But you cannot put your mother, somebody is putting character assassination of your mother. How can you allow? They are saying, I have to allow all these things. Mr. Naidu, you are actually bringing up a much larger, larger problem. This is a problem with social media that uh, people across the world face of you know, having um, things about them. But you know, we have Elon Musk who believes that there shouldn't be any censorship. And so on Twitter, we're going to have much more of that and very minimal controls. So as someone who's so familiar, as a politician who's so familiar with technology, what do you see is the way out? Because, because of what you've done, because what you've done is that people who are posting like that, you are taking action against them as law and order, uh, initiating prosecution. But for people who feel that censorship, what is the larger way of dealing with this kind of social media harassment of women, especially? Women are the ones who face most of this. No, that is what I'm saying. In democracy, now social media has become very, very vulnerable. You know, nobody used to talk about information technology. I used to talk about information technology. Yes. In 95. Even deregulation of telecommunications sector, I was responsible for that. I fought with the then Prime Minister Vajpayee. We are promoting information technology. There is no bandwidth. Then naturally, we cannot progress in information technology. That is how, my, on the basis of my report, he has deregulated telecommunications sector. Now Indians are doing extremely well. 
because of first mover advantage and technology. Added to that, demographic dividend has come advantage. Now they have become entrepreneurs. If you go anywhere in the world, highest per capita income Indians are getting. Among them, I am very happy to announce 30 percent are for Telugu community. They are also first more advantage. So this is the, how we have done all these things. Now, some criminals or some bad people are using social media to humiliate women or respected politicians. That is the biggest challenge. They want to humiliate, harass, and ultimately by doing anybody, we are all human beings. We have some sentiment, some respect, everything. But out of control, this has to be deviated. We have to control it. Otherwise, very, very danger and also nasty things will happen in future. Are you on social? I mean, do you personally spend time browsing through social media? What kind of no, screen time do you have, Chief Minister? I'm only an architect. I don't have time to sit in social media going on. But I am using for governance what are all required. Either WhatsApp. Now we are establishing WhatsApp governance throughout the state. Last mile, I can give them corrective measures and also monitoring and communication across the table. All employees I can put it. This is the first of its kind in India. WhatsApp governance, we are addressing all problems we are going to sort it out through WhatsApp governance.